Yeah, 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 it must be. You know, I really, really love this type of shit, man. We're here with the Wade Wills, aka Javi, president of Street B Gang Records. We're going to do first up close and personal interview. Well, not the first, but the first official. Street B TV, the new movement on YouTube.com. And uh, first things first, we're going to get straight into it. We ain't going to waste no time. We know you knew you upcoming. The whole, the whole gang's upcoming. Niggas might not know. But any, everything that niggas have heard so far, they notice you got your own lingo. And certain things you say, it's like, is you doing that on purpose? Is you saying certain things that make niggas rewind back and check you again? Or you just got your own little lingo or what? You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, when I put it together, you know what I mean? Like, it's for you to be a double on time. Uh-huh. You know I mean? Like, right, right. So is it, with that alone, yeah, I mean, like, it's a unique thing. So you leaving with some room for interpretation, you know what I mean? It don't have to be so literal all the time, but at the same time, I got a meaning, but several. Exactly. What you saying? I got several meanings to what I, what I try to talk about, what I try to discuss in my music at all times. You know, and then I like to play with it because all this is entertainment, but at the same mm -hmm. time, it means something to me. You know what I mean? Right, right. So what you got coming up? I heard you shot the music video. You know, a couple music videos, but with this project you got coming up, let us know a little more about it and what direction you going with. First of all, let the niggas know how long you've been rapping and how you got into it. I've been rapping for three years. Mm -hmm. I got into it actually from, of course, you know, the CEO, T. Will. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But I always had a, a fashion for music as a young nigga. You know, mm -hmm. people like Styles P. You know, uh, the whole deep block movement. Um, you know, the Rockefeller era, of course. Um, let me throw in like slick rip and shit like that. You know, uh, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's, it's the whole 90s era to me was like in the rap. It was just different, you know what I mean? And I had an ear and a, a king to it. So it's like, it, it came naturally to me than other people. Right, right. So, you know, that, that's, where, that's where it started. So you incorporate that shit into your music now? Or, you know, you on a new sound, old sound? Yeah. Or you ain't what? I mean, I wouldn't call it new or old. I would call it, I mean, it's just me. You know right, I mean? right. And that gets back to the to the fact that the last question that you asked me, um, mm -hmm. what is my my what my new project is called? It's an EP called uh, "Don't Be Mad." It's just me, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. So that, that's just gonna be a couple samples. You know, I did a new video that was in the air recently. I've been doing a lot of projects. Oh, the Benny Siegel John. The... Yeah, I do a that's classical. Yeah, exactly, a real classical fit. A real mm -hmm. classical fit. It was just basically touching on the points of my life, you know, and uh, other points of my life that it, it had happened to friends, foes, you know, and then, I mean, the current shit, you know what I mean? Like, my child, my, mm -hmm. my daughter and shit like that, you know, it's just like, I like to keep a lot of things separated, but with that alone, I like to express it in my music. Uh, it's not, it's not all, it's, my life is not all about good money, you know what I mean, bitches, it's, it's not all about that. Yeah, I mean, not right. me anyway. Well, that leads right to my next question. What you feel like separates you from these other other rappers out here? Just like a nigga that can sell crack. Anybody can sell crack. Anybody can rap. The mm -hmm. difference between me and them is I do it from the essence. I do it for the love. They do it for the likes. Mm -hmm. They do it to turn up. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I, I do it so my money can turn up. You know uh -huh. what I, mean? like, I do it because I have other things in mind, business-wise. You know, to make that is a lane for me. You know what I mean? That's one lane, but I got several. It's like, right. like a highway. You know uh -huh. what I mean? I don't just got one lane to get on the highway. Uh huh. You know what I mean, I'm like the. You know, I got three, four different ways that mm -hmm. I think. It's just not. I'm not one track minded. So, so that's just to open the door. Exactly. It's like a, it's like a lane for me. Uh huh. It's like you know what I mean? It's like one way for me. Other than that, you know what I mean? I just take it for how it is. Uh huh. Straight up. I mean, can we get some bars out here, man? Can we get a get a 16 or something like that, man? Get it quick. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't know about a 16, but I'll give y'all something. 12, 8, something, I mean, I you know? I'll be like, what's like, some, some, some fuck shit? Like, fuck everything, man. Like, fuck these nut-ass niggas. First class. 
ass bitches. And y'all got a story to tell, nigga. Nigga, nigga, nigga. So we, we wrapping up the interview. We decided to get one for the viewers, man. Something a little more fun, less serious. Just something to see what niggas, niggas heads at. Something for the barbershops and whatnot. You know what I mean? If you, if you could pick any three bitches in the industry, any three bitches, pop, R&B, whatever, country, whoever, who would that be and why? My number one pick, Definitely gotta give a shout out to Taylor Swift. <laughs> Her popping ass, I know she could suck a dick. <laughs> Fuck, you know what I mean? I know she could. I seen her, I seen her on stage a couple times with a couple black niggas. She looked like she was backstage. Uh -huh. I mean? like Miley Cyrus ain't the only white bitch that's fucking black niggas, you know what I mean? Like, Word. She can get some Mandingo pipe from me. Definitely. That's one. You know what I mean? Uh, my top second, it would definitely be out of, mm, that's what is, uh, i probably go with George Sparks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know I mean? Even though she fucking with that Jason, whoever nigga, but I would <laughs> definitely take that damn. She thicker than a snicker. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I Wifey material yeah, type joint. You know what I mean? She could taste some of my nuts. Anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, um, uh -huh. Then my third would be T.I. Stepdaughter. <laughs> That colorful hair. This nigga she, said T.I. stepdaughter. I could definitely get that. I, I could definitely get that. Is she legal now? She exact. She is legal. And she talking about moving out of her pants crib. So that means I'm getting a call. And I'm going uh -huh. over there ASAP. Uh -huh. you know I mean? She can get some of this hard pipe too. You know what I mean? Like, uh-huh. <laughs> that's it. Uh-huh. That's it. Perfect. Top three. Top three. You okay. heard it here first. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, my, I would have had. I mean, I would have had a fourth one. But, but if you had to choose one, one bitch in the game. Taylor Swift. We gonna leave it at that. You jig me. You <laughs> niggas snow me.